my impact driver. It seems to work fine. Forward, reverse. But it either got dropped and fell wrong or something, but uh, it has no torque when you're driving a screw. Here's a two and a half inch screw. That's a partial load. And then sometimes it doesn't go at all. It has no torque, it won't go. Alright, so that's the problem. Okay, there it goes. Full load, no power. thing you're going to have to do is uh, remove the battery, go and put the battery on the side, and before we remove any of the screws there's actually a small pin right underneath the battery tray. You're going to have to remove that. It's like a horseshoe, horseshoe shaped uh, clip right there. Pull that out. Then on the right side of the right face of the uh, impact driver there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six Torx screws, T9. The first one in the back here is an extra long one. When you first uh, take this apart, it might be a little bit tough because all the rubber parts or rubber halves are fused together. So just be careful. Just put my thumbs in here and just pry it apart. Okay, don't force it. Alright, right. that's uh, one half apart. And then you want to go ahead and remove the impact transmission, motor, and the electronics all together. So just remove it out of the shell. There we go. Now everything comes out, one unit. This is the electronics portion. And then if you look in the for front of the, uh, the board, the circuit board, there's going to be a little clip in there that holds the LED. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and pull that out so I can swing this motherboard out like this. Then the motor disengages from the transmission like this. All right, very simple. You can put that aside. Now this is the transmission half. We're going to go ahead and take this apart. What's holding it together is actually two pins that's been pressed in between the plastic and the aluminum housing right there. So what I'm using for this is I am using a jeweler screwdriver and a little hammer. I'm going to go ahead and punch these out. If you have a punch small enough, that would be the best way to go. It's not on there very hard, but uh, you want to go ahead and tap it out slowly anyway. Okay. Now once those uh, pins are pushed out, we'll take the set of pliers and pull them out the rest of the way. Oh, my plier seems to be magnetized, they want to stick to it. Alright, once that's pushed out, we're going to go ahead and lift the transmission half back and there you go okay so when it's all apart you can see that uh, definitely something's wrong because as soon as I pulled it apart there's a ball bearing inside the housing itself it's a loose ball bearing there it goes loose ball bearing and in here there's a ball bearing on one side but not the other it seems like it should be even and uh, it's not, it's missing a ball bearing on one of the uh, halves right there. So I'll go ahead and press this thing in. And you can see that if you press it down, it's got a spring on there, spring tension. So let me go ahead and uh, you can see right there, you can press it down, but I'm going to 
do one easier and use these clamps and then I'll squeeze them together just like that and there we go okay and it's got this little groove where the ball bearing is supposed to ride on and that's pretty much it I think I'm going to take the opportunity to add a little grease to it while I'm at it while I have it all opened up this is a uh, plenty right here. I can go ahead and use this to add a dab of grease inside. Much on that one. Alright, and then release and the ball bearings are still inside. Good. Go ahead and grease up all the moving parts. Take the pins, push the pins back in. I don't, I didn't check if it matters if it's going from left to right or right to left, but it seems to go in either way. Well, and then I'll tap these uh, pins back in. Right there. Right there. This seems to have plenty of grease in here, so I'll go ahead and leave that alone. I did grease this up before because uh, it was sticking. And make sure the wires are facing toward the circuit board when you put this back on. It's just uh, line up the gears with the uh, planetary gear system. Make sure it's seated all the way. And you can see you just twist on. You twist counterclockwise off and clock counterclockwise on. And then since that's in, I'll go ahead and plug the LED cable back in. Right there. This one, you can see it's got a groove right there where it catches on this switch. There's a little thing right there. You want to go ahead and plug this back in. It's this way. Yeah, right there. Okay. We don't want it in. You don't need it in all the way yet. And then drop this back down. Okay. Make sure all the. It's not catching on the uh, edges or any screw holes or. Anything like that. Right. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. Okay, right there. Make sure this is uh, working good. Make sure that these wires are not going to catch on the uh, covers there. And. Uh, Yep, everything looks good. Put the two halves together. Okay. Perfect. Then the horseshoe clip goes right back in. Okay. Then we take the long one, goes back in the uh, back corner. Back in, battery back in. Alright, everything seems to be fine.
So let's go ahead and test it again. Good again. Some uh, burning wood smell, but everything works fine. So it's fixed.